Yeah, we had. Praise God, and I see indeed you are blessed. And you know, you just want to shout something out. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Such a time as this. Yeah, yeah. Juanita was here. Yeah. Juanita was here. Happy Easter. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Happy resurrection. Happy resurrection. Happy Thank you. Thank you. Shout and God bless you. Shout out to Mount Pisca for the youth ministry. Swanita. An upcoming deacon. And the reason why I have Dwayne here is because I, you know, it's a great event with powerful men of God. And I know that maybe in the next coming years you might be one of the pastors. So I just wanted to say something to the pastors who are here or the young leaders who are coming up. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, what I encourage most people to do is uh, serve God with all honesty as a Christian. Be a real person, a real Christian. Um, that's what I always implore people to be, you know, because a lot of times we can be Christian, but we are not exemplifying what true Christianity calls for. So that's one of the things that I always implore young people to aspire to be. Great. What do you think about the event, you know, the nominees and so forth? What do you think about the evening? I think it's really great. Uh, I think it's really something good, especially for the community. Um, you know, to recognize most of the pastors that has done well for us, for the community and everything. So I think it's a really good thing. Praise God. I think so too. And which church are you coming from? I go to Word of Flame, Apostolic. Well, we thank you. All day upcoming deacon. God bless you. And you have a wonderful evening. Thanks. Well, good evening here on Tehila Television Ministries. We have this man. Everybody know this man. He needs no introduction for himself. But we are glad that you dropped in, and we are glad that you are part of this ministry. And I know the next face I'm going to see on that would be you. Uh. So we have Pastor Terrelly with us here, and we just wanted to just say something about this event. You know. Well, well, this event is a is a historical event, and um, I truly believe in the vision and the visionaries. And, um, you know, where there is no vision in the city, uh, surely that the people shall perish. And um, it's a joy to know that we are here, you know, bringing in some true, you know, inspiration that is reviving the heart and the mind and the body and the soul of the people. Praise God. And I also know that you have this special ministry within in itself where you really, you know, help helping the black community, you know, to get together, get to the White House with prayer and the immigration situation. You want to just brief us a little on that? Well, you know, um, one of the greatest commission that Jesus gave is to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And it is written in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And uh, America is a place where uh, God has strategically, you know, you know bring us here where we don't have to go into all the world to preach the gospel. Just come right here in America because God has brought the world to us. Amen. So if you want to meet the Jews, you don't have to go to Israel. You just go up to Kingston and Eastern Parkway. If you want to meet the Chinese and the Japanese, you don't have to go to China or Japan. You go over Chinatown, right over the bridge. You want to meet the Caribbean, Jamaican, Trinidadian, no, uh, uh, wait for Labor Day. 4.5 million on Labor Day in one place, in one day. So in, in that note, um, it's a great opportunity for us to evangelize. It is. Yes. And I just want you to just, you know, say something to the, the pastors and, and the bishops and all those clergymen who got nominated and awarded for tonight. You know, just, you know, just to say something of encouragement because I know, pastor, you, you should know, I know it's a hard job and sometimes a lot of pastors go unrecognized, unheard. So I just want to encourage them. Yes, um, you know, it, it, it is hurting um, sometimes, you know, when you have to do uh, some things um, as a pastor, mm -hmm. when sometimes the sheep flee and leave the pastor right. and leave the shepherd. But, uh, you know, those who have been honored tonight, they really deserve it. Mm -hmm. And um, as you mentioned earlier about, um, you know, going to the White House, and that is why we, we take on the initiative of going to the White House in Washington, D.C., you know, to pray for our pastors, to pray for our president, to pray for our leaders, and also to seize this opportunity to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ in high places, such as the White House lawn. And uh, what we are looking for this year is 5,000 people from each country, you know, to bring their flags, and we're going to be waving our flags on the White House lawn, and we're going to be doing praise and worship and singing and praying especially us as immigrants, yes. 
you know, we are praying for a breakthrough for this immigration reform. Praise God. There we have it, folks. Uh, Pastor Terry Lee. And I see that he has on his, his poster, Keeping the Family Together. And I just want, you know, to encourage you and to pray God's blessing on you continually as you continue to do the good work. So maybe somebody have heard that you said about going to the White House. You want to leave a number that if they want to reach you? Yes, they could call at 718-940-7499. Also, if they are in Virginia, uh, Maryland, um, they could call at 571-264-0212. Or um, if they are in uh, uh, Maryland, 240-367-2381. Uh, the bus is going to be leaving from Queens, Bronx, um, New Jersey, Staten Island, you know, Long Island. And um, people coming even from the Caribbean island. So uh, you can stop by Utica Avenue, buses leaving from Utica between Linden and Church at the byways and hedges. So just come on board and let us pray for this country. You know, God bless America. It's a great country. And we, we are looking forward that God is going to bring forth a spiritual revival upon this nation. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Terry Lee. And we here at Tehila Television, we continue to pray for you and your ministry. God bless you. And I know Tehila will be there. Oh, definitely. 